welcome solving this wasn't easy it wasn't easy but i'm glad i got it so let's do this together we are asked to simplify this now to do that let me state this side we need to simplify this we need to break them down each of the terms or each of the swords so root 21 is same thing as so i can rewrite this as root 21 is same thing as square root of seven times three right seven multiplied by square root of root three right plus root 35 is same thing as root seven multiplied by root five okay plus root 15 the same thing as root 5 multiplied by root 3 plus root 25 is same thing as root 5 multiplied by root 5. Yeah, don't just take 5. <laughs> okay, there's a reason for that. Okay, so we have root 7 plus root 3 plus. Now, 2 root 5 simply means root 5 plus root 5, right? Perfect. Now, um, let's look at this very well. If we look at this very well, we'll notice that this and this, they have um, root 7 in common, right? And this and this have um, root 5 in common. So let's bring out the common terms, okay? So we are going to bring out root 7 here. So we have root 7 brackets. Root 7 times root 3 divided by root 7. We have, we'll be left with root 3, right? So we have root 3 plus root 7 times root 5 divided by root 7. We'll be left with root 5. So we have root 5 plus. Now here, the common term is root 5. So let's bring that out. Now root 5, uh, root 5 times root 3 divided by root 5. We'll be left with root 3. Plus root 5 times root 5 divided by root 5 will be left with root 5. All right. Divided by, so we have root 7 plus root 3 plus root 5 plus root 5. All right. Now this is equal to, this is equal to, so we have, um, roots all these are equal to all these are equal to so we have root 7 plus root 5 since root 3 plus root 5 is common here right so we have root 7 plus root 5 so we have root 7 plus root 5 in brackets multiplied by root 3 plus root 5 right root 3 plus root 5 divided by so we have um we are going to bring this side this denominator let's make it to resemble what we have as our numerator this is what i mean we have root 7 plus root 5 here so let's pick root 7 plus root 5 okay so it's going to be root 7 plus root 5 right okay now plus then we have root 3 plus root 5 we have root 3 plus root 5 okay so plus root 3 plus root 5 Okay, now this is equal to, if we say let A equals root 7 plus root 5, and B equals root 3 plus root 5. If we should make um, this statement, that simply means that we can rewrite this as what? We can write this to be equal to root 7 plus root 5 is A, right? So it's going to be A times B divided by what a plus b right a plus b okay now this is equal to if we should uh, call the whole of this x okay so that means that x is equal to a b over what a plus b all right now let's take the inverse of this x we have one over x is equal to a plus b divided by a b now let's continue from here all right so we have one over x okay is equal to a over a b right a over a b plus b over a b b over a b so we have that one over x is equal to a we divide a we have one over b plus b we divide b we have one over a okay so we have one over x is equal to one over what is our b our b is root three plus root five root 3 plus root 5, 
plus 1 over a. Our a is what? Our a is root 7 plus root 5. Root 7 plus root 5. Okay. Now, we don't need all this. So, permit me to clean them. Now, let's draw our line. So, this is what we have. All right. Look at this. These are sorts. So, we cannot just add them to each other. We need to rationalize the denominator, right? And to rationalize the denominator, we are going to use what? The conjugate of the denominator for each of them. Now, the conjugate of root 3 plus root 5 is root 3 minus root 5. So, to rationalize this, this is what we'll do. 1 over x is equal to 1 over. So, it's going to be root 3 plus root 5. Now, we're going to multiply this. This by what? Multiplied by root 3 minus root 5 over root 3 minus root 5. Okay? So, this is what we are going to have. In order to rationalize this, then similarly, this place becomes 1 over root 7 plus root 5 multiplied by what? Root 7 minus root 5 divided by root 7 minus root 5. Okay, so this is what we have now. So we have 1 over x is equal to 1 times this will still give us root 3 minus root 5 divided by now when you look at this we have difference of two squares and when you have difference of two squares whereby your a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b okay so it means that this is already in this form so let's put them in this form whereby our a is root 3 and our b is root 5 okay so that means we are going to write root 3 squared minus root 5 squared okay that is it for this side all right plus then for this side we are going to have one times this is to give us root 7 minus root 5 divided by then we have difference of two squares here again so we'll write root 7 squared minus root 5 squared perfect if this is the first time you're coming across this channel please on your notification bell subscribe to the channel first and uh -huh. then on your notification bell so that we notified anytime i upload a new video don't forget to like comment and share thank you so we have one over x is equal to so this becomes root three minus root five divided by this we divide cancel this we have three left this we cancel this we have five left right all right plus Similarly, this will be root 7 minus root 5 divided by this. We can see this. We have 7. This we can see this. We have 5. So we have 1 over x is equal to. So it's going to be root 3 minus root 5 divided by minus 2, right? Plus root 7 minus root 5 divided by 2. All right. So this is 1 over x is equal to, now this minus, I want to bring it up so that we have the same denominator here. So if I should bring this minus up to multiply this, I will have um, plus root 5, right? So it's going to be root 5 minus root 3 minus root 3 divided by 2 plus root 7 minus root 5 divided by 2. Okay, now let's continue from this side of the part. So, because they have the same denominator, we have that 1 over x is equal to, they are going to share the same denominator. Then we are going to bring everything together. So, it's going to be root 5 minus root 3 plus root 7 minus root 5. Root 5, okay? Now, everything divided by 2. Let me clean here. Everything divided by 2. So we have 1 over x is equal to. Now root 5 minus root 5 will give us 0, right? So what we have is root 7 minus root 3, right? So we have root 7 minus root 3 divided by 2. Okay, remember that we are looking for uh, x and not 1 over x, okay? The what we are simplifying is x. So x then is equal to 2 over root 7 minus root 3. 
okay so we are going to rationalize this and to do that your x let's write it here x becomes 2 over what root 7 minus root 3 multiplied by root 7 plus root 3 divided by root 7 plus root 3 perfect so that means x is what 2 brackets root 7 plus root 3 right divided by we have difference of two squares so it's going to be root 7 squared minus root 3 squared so our x is two brackets root 7 plus root 3 divided by this we divide this we have 7 this we divide this we have 3 so we have x is two brackets root 7 plus root 3 divided by 4 now, 2, we divide 4, we have what? 2 remaining. So, therefore, our x is equal to root 7 plus root 3 divided by 2. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day.